day students welcome to mapcodeserve.com in this clip we're going to be going over how to use the summation formula of arithmetic series to find the sum of an arithmetic series before we get started we're going to take a look at the formula for finding um, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series so the formula is as follows uh, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is given by the formula s of n s of n equals n over 2 times a1 plus a n. Okay, so this is a formula for the sum of n, the first n terms of an arithmetic series. All right, if you take a look at this formula, how many variables are there? In this um, equation, there are four variables. Okay, let's indicate what each of them mean. Sn basically represents the sum of the first n terms. Okay, sum of n terms. N represents the number of terms um, of the series. Okay, number of terms of the series that we are trying to find the sum of. A1 as the Subscript indicates represents the first term of the uh, series. First term of the series. And a sub n represents the nth term. Okay, the last term of the series, the nth term of the series. Now, when you're dealing with problems of this nature, you, you will normally be provided with three pieces of information and you have to find the third one. Sometimes you have to find the sum or sometimes you'll be given the sum and you have to find some other uh, piece of information concerning the series. Sometimes you might be provided with a common difference and two other pieces of information. In that case, you have to make use of the nth term formula of an arithmetic sequence, a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times a common difference. All right, sometimes you might have to make use of this formula to find one of the missing pieces here. All right, we're going to be taking a look at two examples in this um, clip. First one, find the sum of the arithmetic sequence, the sequence below, using the formula, and then verify your solutions using arithmetic. Okay, so First thing we're going to do is write down the formula that's our guide. S sub n equals n over 2 times a1 plus a sub n. All right. Now, what do we know based on this sequence that's provided um, to us? Uh, we know the first term. This is right here. This is a1. So a1 is equal to 33. What else do we know? We know what the last term is, a sub n. a sub n is 82. Now, what is n? n is basically the number of terms that we are adding, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're adding 6 terms. And then s sub n is the unknown. That is the sum that we are, we're asked to find using the formula and then verify our answers using arithmetic, okay? So let's go ahead and input all these pieces of information into the sum formula. We're going to be having S sub 6, which basically represents the sum of the first six terms of this arithmetic sequence provided, is equal to N 6 over 2 times the first term plus the last term. All right, we can simplify this further. 6 over 2 is 3. Three times, if we add this together, we have 115. Three times 115. And three times 115 is 345. 
Okay, so that's basically how you use um, the sum of arithmetic series formula. All right, we also ask to verify the results using arithmetic, verify, verification, using arithmetic. Okay, so how do we do that? We just simply add the numbers. We compute 33 plus 46 plus 55 plus 64 plus 73 plus 82. You'll plug that into your calculator. If you crank out the numbers, you end up with 345 also. All right? So one might wonder, why then do we need to know the sum of arithmetic series formula if we can just compute the sum of a sequence uh, using arithmetic. The power of this formula lies in the number of terms. Now, if you have about 1 million terms to add, then it would not be practical or even possible to use the arithmetic method because you have too many digits to add and it's impossible to compute the sum in that fashion. But with this uh, summation formula, you can easily compute the sum of large sequences in a few seconds, okay? So that's the power of the sum of arithmetic series formula. All right, let's take a look at question number two. For problem two, we have to evaluate the sum of the arithmetic series below. Now, we have an arithmetic series provided to us in summation form, okay? And we have to find the value of this sum. All right, so before we get started computing the sum, let's uh, break this down, this uh, summation expression down and then we'll go on from there okay so the number beneath the sigma symbol this is a start okay the starting uh position and this is your stop position right here okay so you're going you're adding the, from the first term all the way to the tenth term this expression right here is known as the explicit formula okay now how can we determine if a or if an arithmetic um, if a series provided in summation notation is arithmetic or geometric? Okay, it is possible to determine just by inspection. All you have to do is look at the explicit formula. If the explicit formula is of the form mx plus b, a linear format that automatically implies that your series is arithmetic because you have a constant growth rate, m, all right? That's what you keep on adding over and over and over again. So if you look at this situation right here, this is a first degree linear expression. So that's an easy way to indicate or determine that this problem is an arithmetic series problem, okay? But if you have um, a summation problem of the form e or a to the x, if it's an exponentiation expression, an exponential expression, a to the x, then in that case, um, it's going to be geometric. All right, so remember linear is arithmetic, exponential is geometric, because a to the x indicates repeated multiplication by a, okay? All right, so that's just a side note. Now let's go ahead and solve the problem. To find the sum of this arithmetic series in summation notation, we're going to use the same procedure that we use in number one. So step number one, we're going to write down the formula. What is the formula for the sum of n terms of an arithmetic series? That's given by S sub n equals n over 2 times a1 plus a sub n. Okay, now let's go ahead and find out the components that we know. n. n is the number of terms. The number of terms is how many uh, numbers there are from 1 to 10. You can compute this by determining, evaluating the expression 10 minus 1 plus 1. Okay, or you can count from 1 to 10. The number of digits you have will be a total of 10 digits. Now, how do you find the first term of your arithmetic series? All you do is you take the starting value and plug it into your explicit formula. Okay, so A1 is going to be 13 minus 3 times 1. 
that yields 13 minus 3. Final answer is 10. This is the first term of the arithmetic series. Now, how about a, the last term, a sub n, which is basically a 10? What is, how do you figure that out? You simply take the final term of the series and plug it into the final position of the final term. The final position is the 10th position, the 10th term. And we're going to plug it into n to figure out what the value of the 10th term is. Okay, so a sub 10 is going to be 13 minus 3 times 10. That yields 13 minus 30. 13 minus 30 is negative 17. There goes your nth term of the uh, arithmetic series provided here. We are looking for s sub n, the sum. In, since n is 10, we're looking for s sub 10, the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic series provided with this notation right here. Okay, so this is what we are looking for. Now, since we have our knowns and unknowns, we have exactly one unknown, and the formula, we are ready to compute the sum. So S sub 10, using this formula, is n, which is 10, divided by 2, times the first term, which is 10, plus A sub n, or A10, which is negative 17. All right, let's go ahead and evaluate this. 10 over 2 is 5. Uh, positive times negative, since the signs are different, you always end up with a negative, which comes out to 5 times negative 7. And the sum of the arithmetic series given by this summation notation is negative 35. Okay, so this is equal to negative 35. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful to you, do give us a thumbs up. We appreciate the positive feedback. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great tutorials such as this. If you have any questions about what we covered in this um, tutorial or any math, math concepts in general, just place your question in the comment section below and we'll be glad to assist you as soon as possible. More tips can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.